guys, welcome to Iconic TV. Today we have a very special review. Uh, we're looking at the Samsung SA950 to 27 inch. Um, it comes in two versions. It comes in the 23 inch and the 27 inch. This is obviously the big one that we have over here. The first thing you have to notice about this monitor is a very different design. It's actually, in my opinion, one of the most good looking monitors I've ever seen. And um, yeah, let's have a look at it closely and see what the features it has. If we come around a bit closer, you can just look at the sticks at the bottom here. It's a 9 series LED from Samsung. That means it's their top of the range uh, monitor, which has a, a static ratio uh, contrast of 1000 to 1, a dynamic contrast of 9 million, 6 million to 1, sorry. And also has 3D to 2D conversion, which we'll get into a bit later, ultra clear um, panel, and a photo accuracy of 100%. And I can really say it does have photo accuracy of 100%. And also has an eco motion sensor, which means that when if you're not around the monitor, you can set it in such a way that it will, it will power down and not be as bright when you're not in front of it, and brighten up when you're in front of the monitor. It has a sensor, and then that's both basically the same thing. And the Samsung Magic Angle. If we can just have, I can show this in real life for you. If you can view the monitor at every single angle, you'll notice that you can see the monitor 100% clearly. Obviously, it's a glossy finish, so there will be a bit of reflection, but it is. It has got a special viewing angle that you can view it at any angle and still have a clear image. It has HDMI out obviously and also it's super, super slim. If we can come around the side here, it has a really awesome thin design. I mean, look at that. This monitor is absolutely amazing. When I first saw images of it, I thought to myself, it can't be that good. The design looked a bit flimsy and I wasn't that impressed. But after actually seeing the physical monitor here, I'm really, really impressed. Okay, if we can have a look, as you can see when you bend it, it shakes a little bit obviously because there's no support over here, but it does have a very solid feel. And it wouldn't really break easy, as you can see, you can go all the way forward and backwards. But I must say, I would not recommend you buying this monitor if you're the kind of game that lands often and all that kind of thing, it will have wear and tear. And I must say, transporting this, case, I mean, this monitor is not easy because it feels like it could easily break off. It doesn't feel solid in terms of transportation. In terms of just using it from general use, you know, moving it up and down like that, it's very stable. And it does have a very good solid feel to it, but like I said, I wouldn't move it around often. Let's go around to the back. I can show you the input outputs of the monitor. Okay, if we can have a look here, we have the DCN obviously, which is the power. We have a headphone jack, which means you can actually power sound straight out of the monitor. Obviously, a HDMI in, a DVR in as well, and a Display Port in. Display Port's really cool because that's the new standard, which is eventually to replace DVR. So it does have it like a future-proof kind of monitor that we have going here. All right, and as you can see, the black, the back is just like a silver aluminium kind of matte sort of glossy finish to it. It really is quite slick. So let me just go around to the front. And talk about why this monitor is so special. Firstly, it is a 3D monitor, as we saw just now, 2D to 3D, which is very, very cool. In the sense that I can just press a button over here, and I can go from 3D mode, and I can change it straight to 2D to 3D. And instantly, this background is rendered in 3D. And you put the glasses on, and you'll be able to see that it's running in 3D. If we can just open something like this, maybe if you can try and put the, the lens through the glasses, you'll see that it, that it actually pops. All right, but it, maybe it's not so easy to see through the glasses, I mean, through the camera, but um, it really is quite impressive how it does pop. It is awesome and I do like it. There's this one complaint that I have with it. I don't think I could use it every day. You know, I would find it does darken the screen a bit and I feel like I would not want to use it as everyday kind of 2D to 3D conversion. It's good, but it's not fantastic, you know. Uh, I'm not trying to say this monitor is a complete write-off because I'll get into that just now. I'm just saying if you're going to buy this monitor purely to use it for 2D to 3D with everything you do, I would not recommend it. Sometimes uh, Some things work really well in 2D to 3D conversion. It does have its pros, like movies seem to render really well in 2D to 3D. But um, general use, you want to use it all the time, you expect this to be your 3D components of the year, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that's necessarily the case. You'll probably find that you'd use the 2D version 
the 2D side of it much more than the 3D side of it, which is still wor worth it in the sense that it's a, it's a nine series LED, which has those amazing uh, specifications, so it is a fantastic monitor. But that's that's not where it ends, okay? So it has it has 3D capabilities, 2D to 3D, but also it runs at 120 hertz, which was another benefit, which means opposed to a standard monitor, which runs at 60 hertz, it runs at 120 hertz, which is very, very nice in the eyes. You don't have that eye strain, and um, you can also, if you're playing games with vertical sync enabled, you can run at a solid 120 FPS with no lines across the screen, which is really, really awesome. So it has its pros in that sense as well. So if you're just looking at the three, if you don't take away just the fact that it's 3D and look at its other things, it's easy on the eyes, you can use vertical sync in games and have high FPS, those are all big pros in my opinion. So it's not just about the 3D. But the 3D is awesome, but I must, I must warn you that, I'm not talking about the 2D to 3D, let me just take that off quickly. Um, if we, if we use the proper 3D, like now for example, we're in an AMD 6915 there, and we want to play some 3D games, I mean I'd recommend it, um, but you must take into account that it's, it's, it is 3D, but some, some games are not as well optimized for 3D as others. So if you can expect to play all games perfectly in 3D, it's not necessarily the case. Like these games that I have played in this with the full 3D enabled with um, the Samsung TriDev software, or you can use the RZ 3D. Either or, either all of those, I've tried them both. This is the one that's mainly certified by AMD. So if you use an AMD graphics card, you should use RZ3D. But unfortunately, you have to pay for the software. It has a trial, so you can try it out. If you want to use the offers, you have to pay for the RZ3D. But Samsung comes with their own Tri-Dev Sync Monster, which is just as good. I've used them both. To be honest with you, they're pretty much identical. None of them, well, I was just like, whoa, this is much better than the other one. You know, they're both open source kind of software, and um, they are good at what they do. There's certain games like Dead Space 2, Mass Effect 2 that run really well in 3D, and there's other games that don't run well in 3D. For example, Call of Duty Black Ops. I had, maybe it's just me, but I had a problem with the grass voice flicker and have a bit of cross talk, which means the images like double line themselves. Um, and then there's certain games that all that run really well in 3D. For example, like the Source Engine, so if you're Left 4 Dead 2, runs really well. If, let's just, I can shoot, I'll load up uh, Left 4 Dead 2 quickly for you with the, with the software that came with the monitor. Um, and I'll give you an example of how smoothly the the 3D works with Left 4 Dead 2. Just give it a bit of a time to load. But I'm not saying that this monitor is disappoints. I'm just saying don't buy this monitor and expect to use it in 3D every game. Don't expect it to be like this miracle game where I mean this miracle thing where all these games are run fantastically in 3D. I do believe that we're getting closer and closer to that kind of technology, but it's just not here yet. I mean I had an amazing time playing Mass Effect 2 all over again in 3D. I do find the, the third person games run a little bit better in 3D because you can actually see little characters sort of like popping up the screen here. You know, I would not recommend the 2D to 3D conversion of games because it just predicts where stuff is, and sometimes the 2D to 3D conversion doesn't always detect it correctly. You know, it's not always necessary. Like the grass was supposed to be 3D when you're walking up to it, it's actually not because it, it's it's too real time for it. But I find movies work well. That makes sense. Okay, let's just get into the game, yeah. Let's just load up a quick single player. Anything now? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Let's give it a bit of time to load. We are right in a solid state, so it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, okay, I'm just turning on the glasses. I'm going to try and show you guys through the through the glasses what it looks like. Okay, there we go. As you can see from the camera, what you see now, you can see the lines there. And obviously, when you put the glasses in, those lines will align, and your eyes will deceive yourself in seeing it as 3D. That's basically how it works, the same as anything. So, this game, for example, is really, really good in 3D, and I find that the FPS hit is not so hard. You must also take into account, you know, play games in 3D, proper 3D, not the 2D to 3D conversion like we're doing here. This is proper 3D. You're going to have to have the high-end hardware to support it, because it does to your graphics card. You are basically running the image twice for, for the overline hit, for the, you know, for the processing to work. So it does hit your FPS quite a bit. So let's have a look at how it's managing here. Yeah? We are running a 2600K, and I'm still getting around 100 FPS constant, as you can see over there. So it's not too bad. We're running a 2600K, 8 gigs of memory, and a 6950. So it is a pretty mid to high end machine, but even here you can see that it can sometimes even drop to, to the low 80s, you know, easily, very easily. But it's completely playable, it looks really good. Just if you could maybe just try and scope into 
maybe you could see that it is actually processed in 3D. It's it's very hard to show you through a video, but but it is very very good. But like I said, some games don't work well. They need some optimization. It is very driver specific. So besides that, besides the fact that the 3D is a bit um, finicky, and sometimes like it took me over an hour to even get the software to work on this on this machine, I had to use the 11.8 preview drivers from ATR because all other drivers didn't want to work. I mean, just to put that put into perspective, like it's it's not plug and play 3D. The 2D T3 conversion is plug and play 3D, but it's not the, ex the experience that you want, especially in terms of gaming, where you'd need to use the, the 3D game launcher by by SyncMaster and Samsung. So all in all, I think this is a fantastic monitor. I myself am using one because I think it's that good and I would continue to use it. I'm just saying if you're in the budget and you expect this to be your 3D, where you can use 24-7 for 3D, don't buy it then because you're going to be disappointed. If you're going to use it every now and again for 3D and the odd game works fantastically in 3D, then you will love this monitor. And you'll love the fact that you can play games at 120Hz, you can have a constant FPS with no verticals, vertical sync lag or anything like that, then it's fantastic. If you're a competitive gamer, especially like Counter-Strike for example, vertical sync with 120 FPS is very, very nice to have. The brightness of this monitor is fantastic with its 6 million to 1 contrast, dynamic contrast. It's an awesome monitor. Currently at Iconic IT we have a special on it for 6199 as of from after this video. Um, I would definitely recommend buying it if you're not looking for not expecting too much from it. Remember that the drivers will update and they could get better. I'm just saying it is a fantastic monitor, so just don't expect too much from it. Alright, and that's uh, thanks for thanks for watching and please be sure to check out iconic RT on today.